Let's go through some of the trickier questions for our comprehension this week. Let's look at question number two. Notice there's the word how inside. Now I want you to remember that how usually uh, involves manner, method, or ways. Next, question number four. Suggest one way they can attract people to download the app. The word suggest means that you can suggest any way. As long as it is reasonable, you will get one mark for this. Next, we have question number five. It says this, just a few more steps, a few more steps. What is the effect of repeating the words, a few more steps? Main thing to watch out for is the word repeat. Now, usually when we ask, when we repeat words, it is to emphasize. In this context, though, it isn't. Notice again that there are two users of ellipsis. Uh, ellipsis have their own function. I want you to look into the videos which I've already given you and check out what they mean. Next is question 9. You will notice it asks, what does this description suggest about the appearance of the peaks? Here we have pine robed. You have to ask yourself what is the meaning of pine and what is the meaning of robe. Put them together and you will get the answer. Next, of course, is the word peaks. Again, ask yourself what are peaks um, reaching 12,000 feet. There is again a reason why they mention 12 thousand peaks 12,000 feet so think about that before you answer this question next we have question 10 what is the effect of starting paragraph 3 with a long sentence and ending with a short sentence it is also grizzly country whenever you want to use short sentences there are a few reasons usually it is to emphasize a point sometimes it is used to create Suspense. There are a few other reasons, but I need you to look in the v look in the, um, the passage and find out the reason why for this question. Next is question eleven. Why do you think the hunt is compared to a to a thread in line twenty one? Immediately, you will have realized that this is a comparison question, uh, also known as analogy. You have to find characteristics of a thread and then you will link it to the hunt. Here's a quick tip for you. Remember to use just as. Next is question 14. We have the question literary device. Now I want you to remember some of the literary devices we have read before, we've studied in school. Things like metaphors and similes and ironies, paradoxes, all these are literary devices. So figure out which one this is. Next, you have to explain the effectiveness of the device. Um, normally, the effectiveness, you would answer this question this way. Um, it conveys the idea that. Next is question 15. What one action taken by Ron Senior was largely responsible for saving his son? The only tip I have for you is be specific. Chances are they're looking for something very specific. Next we have question 18 and 19. Both questions are using your own words. Now all you have to do is look in the passage, find the answer and change the words. Do not change concrete nouns. Concrete nouns are things that you can touch. You don't have to change time and places as well. Next is question 20. Question 20 asks about the attitude. Now, I've already done attitude questions in one of the clips, which is in my YouTube channel. Please look it up if you're confused or if you need uh, some, some refreshing. Um, types of attitude includes things like uh, emotions like uh, cynicism or uh, being critical or being doubtful. Question 21 asks one possible reason. Uh, as usual, one possible reason means to suggest a reason. As long as it is reasonable, you will get your mark. And now we have reached the last part of our comprehension, our summary. Here we have summarized their concerns about 
the disposal of nuclear waste in affected areas. Now remember, it is only from paragraphs 4 to 7, so please bracket or please box up paragraphs 4 to 7. Pick out at least 8 points, 8 to 9 points, regarding concerns about disposable of nuclear waste. Um, in class, we shall try and rephrase it together.